Well, I don't provide shelter because uh, from the environment we build our homes. The trees that are present in the environment, we get the wood from them. Then uh, we build our houses, our homes. Even the, well, though we don't uh, live there anymore, we, uh, we can even use caves as shelter in the environment, in, you know, emergencies and stuff. Then, uh, food source. Well, you know, the plants and the animals that inhabit the environment, we, uh, you know, get our food from that. Plants we can use, uh, we can eat that after we cook it. Then even uh, in the animals. And uh, water source from the various water bodies present, we can get our water from that. And what can you do to make a difference in this? Well, the provide shelter, well, even the, you know, Basically, I mean, it's not good actually cutting down the trees and making our homes out of it, so we should use the other materials present in the environment. Like, okay. uh, you know, the... Alright. Uh, then the food source. Okay. Well, uh, say, <clears throat> we shouldn't uh, exploit the animals and the plants uh, according to our greed and wishes. Okay. You know, uh, we should use it wisely. All right. Uh, such that even they will, you know, survive on this planet, not just us. Okay. And the water source is also something we should conserve. Uh, <clears throat> like we, you know, factories and stuff that are built around the world, they just dump all the wastes and chemicals into the water bodies and corrupt all the waters present on this planet. And uh, there's nothing to drink, which is a must for every single living being no. on this planet. All right, how many of you agree with what he said? Does everyone agree on this? Did everyone hear him? Are you sure? You all agree with him? Thank you very much, Abed. Thank you, sir. Come on, Ahmed. And what's happening in this room today will go around the world through technology on YouTube and you all can all see this and share it with your friends. It's your fellow colleagues who are talking to you about your environment and my environment. Go ahead. So, good job. First thing I wrote is recycle. All I right. think uh, recycling, I mean, environment is something which recycles everything. Okay. And so that we can use, like, uh, we can use everything again and again. Okay. And uh, plants, plants are very important for environment. And uh, almost everything we get from plants, like oxygen and food and wood, then uh, wildlife. Wildlife is something which you know decorates our uh, environment. Okay. It, and then, uh, so I can. Uh, what What are the things that you can do to make a difference? So I can like my my friend Bilal said that. Uh, my up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like my, a friend Bilal said that we can stop deforestation, we can go for reforestation. That's what he said. What are you saying? <laughs> I can sir, recycle more and more. Like right. uh, we can recycle uh, paper. Right. And we can use alternative methods. Like we can reduce the use of plastic, which is very correct helpful for our environment. Correct. And we can also stop uh, killing of animals. Correct. Like poach and everything. Thank you very much, Ahmad. Thank you. Does everyone agree with what Ahmad said? Good. Young lady, you're up next. Can you please explain to everyone what you wrote up there? Um, I wrote reduce, reuse and recycle because right now that's what we need to do with all the pollution and global warming and stuff. Right. <laughs> okay. And what are you going to do about it? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Loud, loud. Yes. Uh, reduce. We gotta stop, stop the, like reduce. We gotta reduce the use of plastics and other stuff. And yeah. even the use of paper, you can use double size and so just oh, okay. again, again. Then reuse and uh, using things again, like plastic bags and stuff. Instead of disposing it, you can just reuse it. Okay. And recycling like cans and stuff. Okay. Thank you very much. You all agree with that? Okay. Young lady, who's next? That's you. Come on. 
Tell me what you wrote there. What does it mean? Teach me something. I wrote conservation. That is like we have to conserve the things we use. That is like uh, reduce the conservation of. Look at them, not at me. Talk you have to, to reduce them. the conservation of, say, energy or the materials we use. Right. Then I wrote using eco friendly things like jute bags, reducing the use of plastic. Okay. Uh, then I wrote cleanliness by keeping the environment clean. We can actually stop the deaths of few animals or plants. Okay. What will you do that will make a difference? I'll stop littering around for the part of cleanliness and I will conserve by using less of plastic and... Okay. Do you all agree with that? No? No? Yes, yes or no? Yes! Very good. Thank you, young lady. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Are you all having fun? Yes. Are you all having fun? Yes. That's very important. <laughs> Go ahead. I wrote scenic beauty because uh, environment provides us with scenic, scenic beauty. Right. And, uh, all the industries and all the roads that we are building right now. It's not right. really that beautiful. Right. And uh, also greenery because uh, when you see green all around you, you know, you feel very healthy and you feel rejuvenated. Very good. And uh, uh, environment also, you know, makes us feel very healthy because it provides more oxygen for okay. us. And we feel healthy. <coughs> Thank you very much. Do you all agree with her? Do you all agree with her? I'm going to come up to the audience again now, so be ready. It's very important for all of us to understand why we are in this room. The reason is we want to give our mind and attention to the word environment. How many of you here know what the real word environment means? Do you know, young man, what the word environment means? Do you know the encyclopedia definition of the word environment? Not exactly, but I think everything around us is uh, an environment. What we live in is an environment. Right. Well, I don't know because I know You don't know? <laughs> or you know? Don't be shy, just say. Eventually, I've got people who have to move to something. Right. It affects all of us. It's a part of us that affects all of us. Do you all agree on that? Okay. Now, I'll come to the basic question now, and that is this. How do human beings think about environment? Can someone tell me? Or do you have anyone who's smart enough to tell me how do people think about environment? How do they think about environment? Yeah. I have 60 minutes, that's it. What I believe is that people perceive environment as their surroundings. They perceive environment as the place where they live in. Right. And of late, they are taking the environment and its attributes for granted. And that's why they take taking advantage of it. All right. Thank you very much. Right. Let me put this question. There are three ways each one in this room addresses environment. And this is how it happens. We use the word environment and address it through our intellect. That happens when we try and think about the word environment. We also use it from our heart and that is when we are emotionally upset in seeing destruction of this environment. We also spiritually look at this when we plant trees for the future generation. My friends and fellow students, there are only three ways that the human being thinks. It thinks from the brain for the intellect, it thinks from the heart for the emotion, and it thinks from the soul for the spirituality. Environment is linked to all three ways of our thinking 
and is interconnected with all these three. I'm going to present to you and show you this. But I ask each one of you, does each one of you have a brain? Does each one of you have a soul? Does each one of you have a heart? And does each one of you have a mind? Are you sure? Yes. 